Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MOC Tech and what I love most about the space of PC hardware is how we're able to take slightly older hardware and retroactively add new functionality to increase the performance of our hardware that we already own. And this is true today of the RTX 20 series and GTX 16 series Turing line of GPUs. With them recently finally getting support for resize small bar technology, though this is unofficially. Now resizable bar is a feature that has become a staple of modern computing ever since it was announced a few years ago. The technology is part of the PCI spec which essentially allows the CPU to have direct access to the entire GPU memory space through the PCI interconnect. And this removed a lot of the bottleneck as the CPU was also able to directly take advantage of the super fast GPU memory that traditionally had to go directly through the GPU core itself in order to then communicate with the CPU. So what this did was remove a lot of latency penalties between the CPU and GPU VRAM and as a result of this offered higher performance. Though that is me trying to sum it up as short as I possibly can, but do let me know if you'd like a full dedicated video into this technology where we can take a deep dive and a much better and deeper explanation of this technology. Now while this technology was initially supported on certain GPUs and motherboards, resizable bar support has been extended to a lot of older platforms, but as of today it looks like the most popular mainstream GPUs were actually lacking support for this feature, such as Nvidia's GeForce RTX 20 series and GTX 16 series GPUs. And now Nvidia has even stopped production of these GTX line of GPUs, but quite a lot of GeForce gamers are still using them to this day since they can also be brought off the used market for very good prices at the moment while still offering good levels of performance. And we recently did a video covering the end of the GTX line of GPUs and a look back on GTX as a whole, so click up here to learn more about that. But due to their popularity and usage, these older NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 series and GTX 16 series GPUs can still benefit greatly from resizable bar support but it's important to note that there is no official driver support or UEFI support for this technology. But that's not the end of the world, as an unofficial UEFI driver known as MVStraps Rebar has been created to enable such support. Though it is important to note that older Pascal GPUs, that being the GeForce 10 series, are not supported with this patch. And now while I wish it was super easy for the average consumer just to be able to flick a switch on to enable resize or bar, unfortunately you do need to flash a new UFI image onto your motherboard to enable support for this technology. Which I understand can be quite daunting for the average consumer, so installing a custom UFI can be quite risky and quite scary, however it is quite relatively easy and stress free to do this if you know what you are doing. And now usually when it comes to GPUs, it's usually the VBIOS of the GPU itself that should be responsible for enabling resizable bar support. But on NVIDIA cards, the VBIOS is digitally signed and encrypted by NVIDIA directly and cannot be modified by modders and end users as it is essentially locked down. Though some GPUs do allow the ability for you to install an additional custom BIOS as well. And the motherboard UFI image can also be signed and have integrity checks but in general it is thankfully not as locked down compared to a VBIOS is, and users and UFI models often still have ways to get around these limitations and still modify these UFIs. And for those of you who want to actually look into enabling this on your system, I've linked below in the description a guide to fully enable resizable bar for your older NVIDIA GPU. But do let me know if you would like a dedicated video and tutorial where I can go through this on video for you as I'll be more than happy to make that for you. And now while resizable bar technology has major benefits in offering increased performance, there are however certain instances when enabling resize bar can lead to no performance gains or in some cases it can lead to worse performance on older titles. However, this slight performance loss is marginal at best. So you have to test out whether or not the games you are currently playing will take advantage of resizable bar support technology or not. Traditionally, older titles which aren't built with this in mind tend not to see much benefit at all. However, modern titles that utilize a lot more GPU VRAM do take advantage and see major benefits in enabling resizable bar on your system. But I still think it's super cool that members of the community have come out to retroactively add support for resizable bar to this lineup of GPUs. 
as it is opening up the potential performance that you could be getting out of your GPU and the fact that you can squeeze even more performance and longevity out of slightly older cards through retroactive software updates and support, I think is so cool to see. And on this channel, I'm a huge advocate for continued software support and hardware support to increase the longevity of our component so we can get even more performance and for a longer period of time as well. However, I do wish NVIDIA did make it much easier for the average consumer just to be able to flick on a switch in their settings in order to achieve better performance and this technology by default. But regardless, I still think it's super cool that we have the potential to enable this on this lineup of GPUs. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions around this in the comments down below. What do you think of getting retroactive support for resizable bar on your RTX 20 or GTX 16 series lineup of GPUs? And would you be willing to install a custom UFI on your system in order to gain access to this technology? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.